Good morning. I am Dr. B. G. Gita, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, K. S. Rangasamy College of Technology, Tiruchangudu. We are living in the data world. Every seconds, a number of trillions of data are produced. So that data should be maintained in some spaces. So for that, we are studying about the data science. So data science is the science. It uses the computer science, statistics and machine learning, then visualization. So computer human, the interaction is very important for data science. We have to collect, clean the data, analyze the data, visualize the data for the future product. So actually data science is about gathering and analysis the data and also we can say that Prediction can be done by using this data science. So, where is data science needed? So, everywhere data science is needed. So, for example, banking sectors, healthcare, then manufacturing, then IT sectors, internet, then cloud also. So, row, we have to find out the predictions and analysis and future predictions also through the data science. So number of companies are using this data science models. So the how does a data scientist work? So they should, data scientist should have the knowledge about the machine learning, statistics, programming languages like Python and R programming and the defective analysis. The data scientist should know the understand of the human problems, real world problems, then explore and collect the data. So what is explore and collect data means from data, we have to collect all the data, clean the data, then it should be store it in the somewhere. So for that we, we have to use the databases. So, the clean the databases means sometimes the database contains the value or unrelated values and unwanted values and sometimes null values also. Before processing the data, we have to clean all the data. Then uh, sometimes we have to find and replace the data. Uh, some data is replaced by another set of data. And uh, next one is normalize the data that is big data set is normalized into a small data set for analyzing and finding patterns and also the making the future predictions then representing the data it is used for the industry then goal of data data science is an umbrella and also a fusion so this is this needs the some specialities so what are the specialties means databases and in informations, then future pattern mining, statistics, machine learning, numerical optimization, stochastic modeling and also the data visualization. These are the specialities. So why all the excitement? This is one of the model uh, find recently found at Ebola virus. So where the actual uh, Ebola virus threats are there. So by using this data science, the scientists predict this uh, Ebola virus affected area, affect, affected area. So this uh, graph shows the low, moderate and high intensity of the data virus, uh, I mean uh, Ebola virus. Then next, so what is data? So data is a collection of information. The first available is a raw data, then it is converted into a information through the processing. There are two types of uh, uh, data. One is unstructured data and the structured data. So structured data is organized and easier to work. Unstructured data is not in the organized manner. So we must organize the data by using the databases and the tables. The value of the data value chain of the data science first it is this diagram shows the engineering collection triangle analyze present governance and operationalization so collection means getting the data from the different 
domain then engineering storage and computational resources then governance means overall management of the data wrangling means cleaning and data processing next one is analysis so we have to discover is something that is through the way, uh, learning and visualization we have analyzed the data presentation the results are in the significant and the useful manner then operationalization putting the result to the work this is the value chain of the data science the data science process first one is raw data are collected next one is data is processed next they clean the data set so from the from the cleaned data sets exploratory data analysis are uh, taken place then also by using the models and algorithms data are visualized then data product also available to the world this is the data science process the difference between the data bases and the data assigns there is a data value Uh, precious in the database and this is cheap in the data science and modest data or data set in the data science massive data sets examples back records and the personal uh, records in the data science the volume of data online clicks gps logs tweets building sensor um, uh, readings uh, through the uh, uh, through the sum of the models then periodicity database is consistency error recovery and the audibility data science is speedy and data availability is more and also the query refresh uh, query richness in the data science so database is strongly uh, rich in the uh, storage uh, structure and also the data science is weekly or the none because the text video may also used next one is uh, properties this is uh, transactions available in the database process and uh, as it means atomic atomicity consistency isolation and the durability next one the cap theorem is used for eventual consistency process so it is cap means consistency availability partition tolerance so there is a difference between business intelligent and the data science so business intelligence means querying the past the data science querying the past present and also the future there are the difference between the machine learning and the data science the machine learning is used to develop the new models individual models data science explores the many models built and the time hybrids are used and uh, machine learning it, it is a prove mathematical properties of models unstruck understand the empirical properties of the models in the data science then improve and validate on a few relatively uh, clean small data set in the machine learning but in the data science develop use tools that can handle the massive data set in the data science so we, by using the machine learning we can publish the papers in the reputed journals by using the data science we can take the action for the future so this is the example of the uh, data sets where we are getting the data from the manufacturing from the social media from the government from the health intranet internet then medias news corporate so these are the data sources so big data sources that is uh, in the previous uh, continuation of the previous slide so it is all happening online it is user generated I, iot internet of things nowadays uh, iot is very famous and health scientific computing are uh, available so these are the sources for the data so this is the one example of uh, data set so we can predict the traffic and earthquake warning in the world this is two examples the first one is the data um, earthquake warning and the second one is the signal uh, i mean uh, um, crowd in the traffic and there are types of different types of data science one is regression next one is uh, clustering classification future selection feature selection text mining time series forecasting deep learning next one is recommendation engines analysis deduction and also the associative association analysis these are the types of analysis there are the different uh, uh, types of data science and its uh, description classification means 
predict if a data point belongs to one of predefined classes. So, this is prediction will be done by using the uh, known data set and some algorithms used decision trees, neural networks based on theorems, mathematical modeling are used. Then regression means the prediction will be based on learning from the known data set. So, for that linear regression logistic algorithms are used. Then analysis deduction if uh, predict if a data points is an outlier compared to other data points in the data set. So, for that distance based and density based algorithms are used. Nine time series. So, it is fully time frame uh, history of the values. So, for that exponential smoothing array ma and the regressions are used. We already used uh, this regression, linear regression and logistic regression the time series are in the laboratory. Then clustering, so identifying the natural clusters within the data set. So, there is a basis, one is inherent properties within the data set. So, for that K means algorithm, K means clustering algorithms, density based clustering algorithms are used, some examples also available. Then association analysis, identify the relationship with them, within an item set based on the transactions data. So, for that FE growth and apriority algorithm are used. So, these are the types of data science and usages and algorithms. Again other data science applications are used. So, data science is used for the data, uh, transaction databases, then wireless sensor data, example smart homes, real time IOT. So, we can get the data from here also. Then next one is test data set, then social media data, again software log data, so automatic troubleshooting, it is used for the automatic troubleshooting. The next one is in the medical field, genotype, phenotype data are used, example patient and patients, centered care, then cancer history, then personalized medicine, these are the data science applications. So, this uh, one interesting thing is the data is visualized by using the graphs. So, so lot of interesting data has a graph structure, one is social networks, communication networks, computer networks, road networks, citations, collaborations, relationship, these are um, visualized by using the graph. So, again the, there is a digital data classification, one is unstructured quasi structured and semi structured then known is structured so semi structure unstructured means the data that has no internet uh, there is no inherent structure usually to, uh, stored in the different data files it is document pdf images and the videos the next one is quasi structured text uh, textual data with erratic formats so, the example clickstream data. So, if we click there is a some data will be produced. produced. Then semi structured it is also a textual data files with an apparent pattern and the enabling analysis. Example XML and the XML files and the spreadsheets. Next one is the structured data. It is a different data model is available and format also available example database. So, there are lots of data, trillions of data, information retrieval is an important one. Why? So, data is number of data, trillions of data are available. Finding that data and information is very, very important. So, it is a large collections of data. Example, web search engines. If you take Google, metadata and all conferences, if you want to uh, search the conferences about the conferences we can use the allconferences.com so throughout the world all the conferences are searched and displayed in your screen so that is the information retrieval so why information retrieval means because of handling the unstructured data and that is converted into a structured data. Mostly the data are available as a unstructured data. We have to format the unstructured uh, data. So, if you take this uh, diagram, data sets are grow laboratory. If you take one human being, there is a camera glass and a watch with uh, in IOT and Bluetooth 
so 3g wireless all this gps storage are available with one human being so through this number of data are produced so all these things are managed and some myths and truths about the data science in industry you need big data to do anything industry that is one of the myth you spend most of time analyzing and building models and you need to be a hard code programmer to be a successful and you can communicate results after analysis done so these are the myths and truths about the data science in the industry so big data analyzing designing the models and successful programmer communicate the result after analysis so these are the one myths and truths in the industry so burdens of data big data is costly to collect and store big data slows down the iterations so big data is useful only if the data product is available more and very noisy instrumentation and also identification the exception that is outliers so some of the data previous data science so data science data science tools are used we are using the excel r programming then tableaus most of the tools are used for the data science uh, process then determining how much data you know you need so for that exploratory analysis statistical inference and predictive analysis are used so some of the data science tools windows sql excel or linux and mysql tableau javascript these are the tools available in the uh, open source and most of the data science scientists are using this so for choosing the tools for the particular data set um, excel rdbms r python spark these are the data science based on the process tools are used selected for example data explorer data preparation exploratory analysis then inference for prediction solution implementation result communication so different right tools are selected and different stages the tools are used so example data preparation spark or rdbms sql used for exploratory analysis excel r programming used and inference prediction python used the next one python and custom coding are used for solution implementation for results communications excel and the graph charts are used so these are the data science introduction so today's class we saw about the what is data science data science definition and where the data are collected and what are the uh, types available and where it is actually used and the Uh, myths and truths of the data science in the industry so thank you thank you so much